18 man Lee Gun team of the season and three moments cards we've done it for Prem we've done it for Bundesliga and now we're doing it for League 1 too so let's get right into it in goal I've gone opted for Chevalier many you could say Donnarumma being one of them uh, the breast keeper who I don't know the name of L ball knowledge for me is another but I've got Miss Chevalier he has been one of um, the best keepers in the league this year in terms of saves, um, save percentage as well for a little side who are doing very well on the borderline of Champions League football. He's been a star very close to a spot in the France squad I am going to presume. Um, a little bit of competition but I've opted for Chevalier. Now right back is incredibly boring, he probably doesn't deserve it, if you think someone deserves it more let me know. But I've opted for Hakimi. This is not my my league on team of the season. This is the prediction that what I think it will be in EAFC 24. Now, Hakimi has not been incredible. He's not been bad, but he's not been incredible. And simply put, I think for that reason, and because his name is Hakimi and he will sell packs, I think he will be in the team of the season. So I've given him a not a very good card, but um, we'll see on that. So next up, first centre back. He he may be an olden, but he is most certainly golden at the moment as well. Dante, an incredible performer for Nice this year. He has had a standout campaign for a Nice side fighting in the upper side of the table um, this year, and. For his age, I had to give him a mention in the spot. He wouldn't be one of the best team of the seasons, but you could certainly rock with this card. Maybe if you're building a full league gun team, 82 pace on a 40 year old is kind of crazy. Second centre back, um, it was a toss up between two, to be honest. I could have gone for um, brilliant up and coming young centre back, Lena Euro, but I've opted for someone who I think has been even more Im impressive um, this year and he's a bit older but he's still very very young it is Diakite now Diakite incredibly young and incredibly versatile can put anywhere along the back line you want I've opted for him as a centre back um, for his team this season because that seems to have been where he's played most games this year along with a good amount at right back and a couple filling in at left back he is like the French Joe Gomez. Giacchite for Lille has been immense, um, really solid player and thoroughly deserving in my opinion of a tot. And obviously centre back number three, it's not really going to come as a surprise, he's the best defender in league on at the moment. It is Marquinhos, people will say he's a bit overrated, he's not anywhere near a level of an elite centre back and they are probably right but in terms of league on team of the season he is quite always probably the best defender in uh league on and he is also a little bit of a pack seller so perfect and in my opinion he's surely nailed on for a team of the season now left back i've gone for two because there weren't very many good left backs in league on this year i've gone for breast left back uh, Loco. Now, he, Bradley Loco is, uh, I believe, quite a young French left back, but he has excelled for Brest this year in a team that has massively overachieved the expectations this year. That he is not to the last Brest player to feature in the team of the season that I've predicted either. But I think for a lack of left backs, I think he's he's scored quite a few. He's assisted. A decent amount as well from left back not crazy numbers but he seems to have done pretty well and obviously the breast team have done really incredibly well so i've given him one and i'm also giving it to nicholas taglia fico now he probably won't get one but i was when i was doing my research for whose numbers look particularly good i was surprised by the very good stats of nicholas taglia fico who's underwhelmed a bit um, since joining from Ajax, but um, the Lyon man, obviously part of a dismal first half of the campaign, has stepped up 
The second half of the campaign has got numerous goals and assists from left back. And does he deserve it? Probably not, but I, there were not very many good left backs, to be honest with you. Also, I do apologise this video is so late going out. Um, I was very ill on the Monday, and that's normally when I do like a lot of my prep work for these videos, so that I can then uh, edit all of the cards, um, do my voiceover for the video, and then do all the editing and thumbnail design and stuff or all on the Wednesday to be uploaded on the Thursday um, but today I was ill on the Monday and then just I was running a bit behind all week so apologies um, we will be hopefully back to a normal upload schedule I will not be here for next week's Serie A Tots which is a bit of a shame I might try and get one up early um, but I'm away in Austria for a week so if I miss out Serie A Tots that's why but I will be back in future so on to midfield now first midfield we're gonna go for is Yusuf Fofana of Monaco Monaco very excellent team this season second in the league fighting very closely with Brest but looks like they're gonna get second and Yusuf Fofana has been a huge part of that playing as a holding midfielder he's a stellar stellar player for Monaco and um, now is working his way more and more into the France first team pictures especially with Paul Pogba's ban in football he's excelling for club and he wants to make an impact for country I am sure midfielder number two is PSG's Vitinha who had a bit of an underwhelming debut campaign um, for Paris Saint-Germain last season, but this season has played a lot more regular minutes in a box-to-box -box role, and he has been excellent this year, popping up with big, big goals for Paris Saint-Germain. He perhaps could have been higher rated than my final person, but I think the achievement of this final person is more impressive because he's doing it in a worse team. And it is Kamara of Brest. Now, Brest's achievements, I said it before, I said it again, they've massively overachieved this year. And the work in midfield that Kamara has done to help that is nothing short of incredible. He's got good numbers. I believe it's like six goals and five assists from midfield. This year I might be waffling, but I'm pretty sure six is the stats of one of them. Uh, so uh, I think he has to be given a team of the season. We'll go to right midfield, where is it? Where I will go to Benjamin Bourgeau of Rennes. And this guy is on the climb up through the Rennes ranks. Five years ago he was a nobody, and now he is the most important player for Rennes. It's not been an amazing year for Rennes, but it has been for Borjo. Nine goals, six assists is a very respectable return for a player who is playing on the right midfield or central midfield. I've given him a right midfield card because that appears to be where he's played most games this year. But if he has, he, he would have a centre mid alternate position as well. So. Central attacking midfielder. I've only given one cam, but I have gone for more central midfielders in general. So the cam in question, he always gets one because he's always the star man for his team. It is Teji Savanier. Savanier plays for a very mediocre Montpellier side and he always puts up very good numbers. I believe he has the exact same as of recording this voiceover goals and assists as Borjo for a slightly better Ren team, so Savinia has is once again just a class mid midfielder for Ligue 1 and he always seems to be an ever present in Ligue 1 team of the season. The final midfielder is a left midfielder and I've given it to Liverpool man Takumi Minamino who signed by Monaco I believe on a loan deal and he has excelled this year again. I believe it's also something like six goals, nine assists for Minamino, who is enjoying life out in Monaco. Monaco have done incredibly well this year, of course, and Minamino has played a lot of the games to get them close to 
their targets there. Um, uh, so I've opted for Minamino to be my final midfield inclusion in the team. So attack right to left because I think we all know who the left wing is going to be. Right wing. Del Castillo is who I've gone for and once again this is the final breast player that's going to make the team but his numbers have been incredible I think it's like 10 goals 10 assists he is 20 goal contributions on the wing for breast is phenomenal one of the stars in um, the breast side that have been mighty mighty overachievers this year Del Castillo congratulations to him on his personal success surely knocking on the door of France call up now on to the forwards, the strikers, we will say, in, in the order that I think it will be, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang first. Aubameyang ruled out, written off at Arsenal, excelled at Barcelona, got a move to Chelsea, flopped, written off, chucked out to Marseille, where he has once again shown after a bit of a slow start that he is still a class footballer. Only reason he's not high is because he had the, the the slightly dodgy, shaky start to the season. But he has been incredible in all comps for Marseille. Pierre Mikabamiang is thoroughly deserving of a place in the team of the season. Second one, and it surprised me his numbers here. I mean, he's more of a just a pure poacher than Aubameyang being a more creative player. It's Alexandre Lacazette and Lyon were bottom of the league halfway through the season which was incredible and I just thought Lacazette must be having a bit of a bad year then but his numbers are incredible like, he still has 18 goals and something like three or four assists that's a very respectable return for Lacazette who again was chucked out of Arsenal again in the idea that he wasn't good enough and I was so shocked by that so I had to include him into this team this season final strike should come as no surprise it is arguably the best out and out striker in Ligue 1 who has the finishing of Lacazette and the creativity of Aubameyang it is Lille's Jonathan David one of the stars in Ligue 1 for the last few seasons Jonathan David has once again put his best season I believe on record up in terms of goals and assists um, not just goals he's added creativity to his game this year he's becoming a complete forward class player surely due for a big money move away shortly and left wing who is it always going to be of course it was always going to be Kylian um, Bat Killian Mbappe, phenomenal player. People like to pretend he's overrated. They they are just coping. No, he's such an unbelievable player for Madrid next year. I am sure he will be absolutely class. But and for PSG, he is still performing, even though he knows he is very soon moving away. Kylian Mbappe obviously has put up another just phenomenal, outrageously good year. He's one of PSG's all-time top scorers and he's only 24. That says it's all you need to know. So that's the 18-man team of the season. We need three moments players. I've opted for the defensive moment to be Carlos Soler. Again, someone who underwhelmed a little bit during his first season at PSG however this season has been deployed as a right back on many occasions and Carlos Soler got a goal and an assist and a, and a clean sheet in a 3-0 win versus Strasbourg which from right back is a pretty impressive achievement. For midfield I've opted for Warren Zaire Emery um, where he scored a goal and got man of the match in the 3-2 victory over high flying at the time at Brest. Um, Zay Emery is incredibly young, he's 18 years old I believe and he has been exceptional in the PSG midfield. Maybe unlucky to miss out on Tots but I've given him a moment so that he still is included. 
And finally, again, another one really unlucky to miss out on the team of the season, and I apologise because the editing went slightly wrong on his card and the league on badge just disappeared. Don't know where it went to, so I apologise, but it is Wissam Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder had a terrible start to the year. I've, I was checking up, like, a, a little way through, halfway through the year, and Ben Yedder was on, like, three goals and two assists. And I checked then at the end of the season, and, he's, and he was on, like, 16, which is phenomenal. But I've opted for the other three, so I've given Ben Yedder a moment. He's a pack seller, and knowing what EA have done with players like Luis Diaz, who have been good this year, but just not exceptionally consistent enough to be a team of the season. I've opted to give Ben Yedder a moments card um, for his two goals, one assist and man of the match versus Clermont Foot in the league. Is that a particularly impressive game? Not particularly, but EA will try and claim it is so that they can use him to sell packs. So, my ultimate league on team of the season is as follows. Chevalier in goal, Hakimi at right back, Diakite Marquinhos at centre back, Tagliafico at right, at left back rather. In midfield, um, it is going to be um, uh, Fofana, Coutinho and Kamara. And the front three will be Del Castillo on the right, Jonathan David in the middle, and Kylian Mbappe on the left. I'm not including moments players in that team, which is why Ben Yedda is not in there ahead of um, Jonathan David, even though he's higher rated. So, if you have enjoyed, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your rest of the day. Sorry it's late. Try and get back to a normal schedule soon. All right. Peace.